Just Drinking's back with Barrel and Cane Rum with a Stick of Sugar Cane. Yeah, baby. Handcrafted. Handcrafted. This is literally got a stick of sugar cane in it. It does. As it says so in the name, which makes it extra cool. It, you know, this is a very interesting, you know, presentation, Ooh. if you will. Yeah. Right? So it kind of makes me wonder... I'm pondering to myself right mm -hmm. now. You know, th this is really intriguing. I wonder if bourbon and whiskey drinkers would find it, you know. They should just stick inspiring. a cob of corn in there. Exactly. Ooh. Or just kernels. Just, just kernels, kernels of just corn. Kernels of I corn. bet that would go over real huh? well. Yeah, don't oh, you think? Yeah, super well. I love that idea. But I do like this one. I I, I yeah. don't like your other one. That really? sounds terrible. Kernel can you imagine what it would look like with kernels in there? Can oh my you? god. <laughs> <laughs> horrifying thought not really sure i ever want to see that i'm super excited they did not put kernels of corn in it and we have sugar cane in this because it's delicious rum and this is going to be amazing this is an iowa rum by the way it is so we're traveling all the way to iowa, iowa from iowa so clear wow. lake it's about a 90 minute drive north of yep. here so pretty close clear by Clear lake iowa and uh this is this is going to be interesting we're we're i've got now i can't stop thinking about the kernels of corn you really, i know right you got me messed up hey, you're, you're welcome dang it for those of you who are new to the show, I'm Robert. I'm Roy Air. And this is Just Drinking, where we drink rum and tell you about it. Make sure that if you love drinking rum, finding new rums, and hanging out with other rum lovers, that you guys hit that subscribe button. Join Give us a us. thumbs up. Come back each and every week as we have new rums every single week that we're talking about. We have the live show on Wednesday. We've got all our links down below that you can check out to our Just Drinking After Hours Facebook group, our Instagram, our TikTok, and you can check out if you're a real rum enthusiast. We have a rum club there uh, for the United States that covers most areas, not all, but go check that out. Our Patreon uh, rum club there that you can get rum shipped straight to your door, sip along right with distillers, the other door. rum lovers and us too but that's not nearly as cool as the cool rum you get and everybody else so make sure you check that out and thanks for drinking rum with us today back to the rum royer back to the rum so this is a 40 percent 80 yes. proof yes right handcrafted from small batch rum aged in bourbon cast then flavored with sugar cane a sugar cane stick experience this unique drink on the rocks or with your favorite mixers i love when they just use the word unique it could be uniquely terrible, oh, yeah. or it could be uniquely amazing. It's just unique. I, you can use it, that in a lot of words, in a lot of ways. <laughs> Positive or negative, <laughs> right? Right. It's a very unique experience. You know, oh, I've had God. rums taste Never like a do very that again. unique experience or, many a that's time. That's so unique. That's so cool. I love that. You're you a know? very unique individual. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, so there is a little bit of a story on Robert, there. by all means, regale us with your story that you found on the back of their bottle. 173 Degree Craft Distillery is a salute to life and the joys we can share with family, friends, and even strangers. Deep in the heart of the Midwest, our founders, who are both trained chemists, use their knowledge of chemistry to bring the science into the art of craft distilling. That's pretty cool. Honestly, uh, so they call it 173 Degree Craft Distillery. The answer is simple. The boiling point of ethanol is 173 degrees. There you go. Fahrenheit. So that's why it's, it's 173. Very straightforward. That makes a lot of sense. It does. I, was, I feel like they're a very educational company right yes, now. Yes, very. Well, I feel like they're, we're a very educational show. So, so this they is fit. a good pairing. It, it is a good good pairing. I want to find out more about this Rum Royer. Let's crack this bad boy. Okay, let's do it. Oh, sorry. That's the other Iowa drink that does that. Yeah. Sorry. You know. It's kind of funny because in the bottle, it looks a little bit darker. Yeah, it does look darker in the bottle, <clears throat> but it is a lot lighter in the glass but when here. You, but yeah, when, when you put it in glass, it's definitely... Yeah, that lighter wheat kind of yellow color. Smells very sugar cane-y. Yep. Obviously, it has a sugar cane stick. I get a little bit of the wood note, but not as much as I thought I was going to be at being in bourbon cast. I thought there would be a little so bit more. So how did they do this again? They this aged is... it in bourbon barrels and then uh, put the sugar cane stick in it. All right. Try it out. It's weird how cool it feels going down your... And very cool. Very that, a I, cool I, feeling, right? Yes. We didn't chill this bottle. No. It feels very cool going down. Gives a very light uh, sugar cane kind of flavors going in. Gives yes. you a little bit of those uh, agricole feel, right, yep. of that yep. sugar cane. Um, I would say the woodiness of it, that bourbon barrel, is actually more of the back note, but it's very apparent. Like, it's there, but it's. I think it's more of the back note, whereas that sugar cane feel is more of the rum that is that front note, and it is absolutely delicious. I am actually really <clears throat> loving the way this one's going down. It's got, it's got a note of something. I'm trying to put my finger on it. I just can't, I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, it's... So, so it's, it's got a little bit of a sweetness to it. But it's floral. It's got it, a floral it, it's flavor. It's like floral... Yeah, I think maybe maybe you're right. Maybe it's got like a floral note to it. It's like a floral woodiness. Like, yeah, because it does kind of remind me of that hibiscus rum. A the, little bit. A little bit of that hibiscus rum that yep. we have. Yeah. Um, this one's going to be pretty unique on the palate as far as I should... I say the word unique because we're using that a lot tonight, right? I'm just going to start throwing is, that yeah, one around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I think it's a particular taste. 
If you're someone who likes floral notes, uh, agricole, that fa flavor of rum, that, that whole category, I think this is going to be very up your alley, which is very unique for Iowa rums because yeah. really they don't make a lot of that around here, no. if any of that, no. um, from the Iowa distillers. So that's a flavor that um, usually doesn't pop up because it's not really big here yet, um, no. but it's growing. But and by, by all means, if you're looking for something unique... This, this, is, this, this is. has got some very fun, unique notes of that floral, <coughs> woody, bourbon-esque, uh, little hints in the background. Goes down cool. I don't know how else to say that other than it's like, it's like cool runnings. Cool runnings, man. Yeah, there it is. In Clear uh, Lake, Iowa. In Clear Lake, Iowa. Yeah. It makes perfect sense to me. Uh, but I I like that. It makes me feel cool while I'm drinking it. I don't know. You... So this, this is a light, it's just a light rum. You know, this is not a heavy, uh, yeah. overpowering rum. This... This this is very light uh, rum. It's light noted, light flavored. Um, I think this I think this would actually mix very well. Uh, well, we're gonna find that out here, are right we? here Because for you guys who are backyard huh. rum drinkers, right, we're gonna take this thing. We're gonna mix it up into a diet coke, diet pepsi. Now, if you guys aren't used to this, this is something we do with all our rums, most of our rums, uh, to give you guys a little mixed backyard mixability. See what a little artificial flavoring will do. We know a lot of people want to drink this on its own or make a more sophisticated cocktail, but due to time restrictions, we're just gonna add some quick artificial flavoring into the quickest, most popular rum drink there is, and do uh, that and give you guys a little sense of what it's gonna do. And we're gonna try it for you right now. There, there's the rum flavor almost took a little bit a step down and that floral flavor kind of gave came more forward yeah and i think i lost a lot of the wood too yeah a lot yeah. of the woodiness disappeared <clears throat> it almost i don't like this this isn't my, my my thing mixed i liked it better on its own i thought it had more fun unique flavors as i mixed it it kind of yeah. gets stale well it, to be fair it, it it's i don't think this is the right mixer for no me. i don't either i think it needs to go into a more sophisticated cocktail i think yes. it's something you sip Put on some ice, or you make a more sophisticated cocktail. How do you think cocktail. this would do, like in an old fashioned? Uh, I don't know, because it's more florally, right? Like right. I don't picture that, and I don't think so. It's not. Okay. It's not necessarily what I would do. Um, maybe like a Manhattan, you know, might maybe. be more of an alley yes. for it. A rum I, I like that idea. Yeah, I feel I like, like that idea. I feel like that fits a. I'm gonna use a color to describe a flavor. Oh wow! Of Here we go. Indigo, right? It gives oh, me more of a, going back to that indigo. It makes me feel like an indigo flavor. <laughs> okay. If, if colors had flavors, I can tell you them all. Uh, so like indigo flavor. Yes. Well, I've, actually, we've we've had indigo uh, cider. Yes. Hard cider. Yeah. It just kind of gives me that yeah. feel, that florally note to it. So I, I think it would be great in a Manhattan. This could be really fun for some different cocktails and experimenting with. Uh, I hope our friends over at Low, Low Carb Cocktails over there gets a hold of this one. I hope um, so, too. To do it on their channel and kind of talk about it, yep. too, because I think they make more, you know, I know he makes more cool he, drinks he than really, we do. He really gets into the drinks. I love that. Right? All right, Royer, we've had it on its own. We've had it mixed up. We've experienced this rum, which I think is definitely up there as possibly the most unique rum in Iowa, made in Iowa. Yes. It's up there, right? right. I'm saying top three. Uh, how much do you pay for this bottle of rum? Well, because it is all the way from Iowa. Gosh, ship it all the way here. All from the 90 way from minutes Iowa. away. The presentation is pretty cool. I mean, yeah. they did put a lot of thought and consideration into I love that. This is very Gatsby feeling. Oh, yeah. Very much so. Yeah, very it's much a Gatsby so. I love feel that. It looks more that. expensive than everybody else's yes. stuff. Yes. I like that. Yes. So how much do you think that we paid for this? I think that this is, it's Craft Distiller, Iowa. I'm going to stick in my spectrum. I'm going to call it a $36 bottle of rum. We paid $34. $34, perfect. That's yep. exactly, like that middle ground of $30 yep. to $40. I try to say like most Iowa craft rums land yep. in there. So it's landing perfectly in that spectrum. I love that. I think they made a very unique product and put it at a fair price. And this is cool. I think rum lovers will have a lot of fun with it. I think people who are new to rum that like floral flavors can get into this. And it's a very cool avenue to be available, especially oh, in yeah. Iowa because we don't get a lot of this kind of unique no, spectrum, especially sugarcane rum, like, yes. right? Like it's all molasses based, it's all yep. it's all that way. So to have a bourbon-esque rum that's sugarcane in it, I love that. I think that's very unique. Very I cool. mean, they, they definitely called it, it is unique. It is unique. And I will say that it's a unique in a good way. I think this one's fun. I'm, I'm gonna put it yes. up there with my most fun things to, you know what I'm tasting right now as I sip on this longer? It gives me like a taffy. Oh yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of almost like a milky taffy. Yeah. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Isn't that weird? It's like Kinda a milky taffy. taffy. And I don't have that aftertaste it's, anymore. It's not, like, it. it's not like a real strong taffy, but it's it's like that mil You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, kind I know. Of a I milky, know. creamy taffy. Yes. And if that was a terrible explanation, you just got to have to buy a bottle and try it yeah. so that you know what Absolutely. we're talking about and be like, oh, well, that's what they exactly. Because all of our descriptors are perfect. I mean, Absolutely. These 100%. Are, these are real words we're using. So. Real words Some, and real colors. Sometimes we don't use real words or real colors. Well, you know, when you got two guys in a basement telling you what your rum's going to be like, yep. you get what you get, guys. It's what it is. Okay, so here's a question. Yeah. If 
this was a spirit animal, what spirit animal would it oh, be? Oh, good question, huh? Royer. Huh? Good question. That's a question I used to ask you a lot. I know, right? If this rum was a spirit animal of some sort, I'm getting an antler feel out of this. I'm going to say this one is a... I'm going to give this the spirit animal of the large... What's the... Like a giant moose. Oh. I'm getting, I'm getting a large moose. I could see that. Yeah, like a yes. lodge feel. Like a lodgy, oh, yeah. like a lodgy big feel. moose. You bet. You got the big antlers above yes. the big fireplace. That, exactly. That's exactly. what. That's the spirit animal. Of course, that would be from. a dead spirit animal. But... Yeah, a li living one, yeah. maybe passing through the living room. Okay, of your yeah, cabin. passing through the living room. You just walked cabin. in and you're like, oh crap, there's a moose in here. <laughs> Please go through. Or you've just drank too much rum and you're having a really crazy night. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> That is Barrel and Cane Rum with a Stick of Sugar Cane. Make sure you guys check your local liquor stores. Order it in. Tell them to bring it in for you. If you're in Iowa, go to Clear Lake. Find yourself a bottle and try it for yourself today. This is a very unique rum, and you got to... Don't take our word for it. What do we know? Try this rum for yourself today. Do it. Do it today. If you guys like what we did and you didn't know that I was the self-proclaimed rum capital of the world, make sure that you guys hit I that hear. subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Come back each and every week as we are always trying new, unique, amazing, fun rums, not just from Iowa, but all over the world. And we want you guys to see them too. Make sure you check out the live show on Wednesday and check out the links down below to our Instagram, Facebook group, uh, Just Drinking After Hours, our Instagram, our Tic Tac, and of course that rum club down there, which we still have spots open for. If you guys are looking to have some awesome rums sent your way, we just sent out a shipment. We got five we premium did. rums going out right we now. Uh, looking for forward to that one so we have always a very very fun time with that so if that's something that interests you make sure you click that link check that out we would love to have you there and with that being said Royer let's get them home safe always drink responsibly never drink and drive and no rums were harmed during the making of this video not at all we'll see you next time guys take care wow